all right what's going on guys it's david and for today's video it's gonna be on the mortar again uh it's been a while since i made a video on this deck actually so i want to bring out another video for you guys and um as you guys know last season i didn't really push as you can see right there i only got up to 4600 so i did reset back down to 4000 and i have pushed up some trophies but didn't really make a video on it and i do have two replays that i can get into so yeah let's get into the replay real quick Alright, so yeah, I haven't been posting for a while. As you guys know, I am in school, so I do have stuff to do. Some school is like the first priority on my list at the moment. So yeah, now let's actually get into the replay commentary. Alright, so right here, I split my arches in the back like always. I see the ice wizard and I immediately go to my rocket to rocket that. Then, now I wait to see what he has. And there you go, a rail train at the bridge. So I use my mortar at the bridge too. So once the roll giant is dead, it'll lock onto the tower as you can see right now. It'll lock on and get a hit off. Right there he used his bomber pretty he saved he saved off like two like another hit. Which I don't really see why, but I guess so. So now I cycle my ice spirit. I do have a lot of elixir, so I'm gonna split my arches in the back. I see he plays down the barbarian, so I um just I was thinking of I was debating on whether rocketing the one on the left, but I decided not to. And uh, I used my knight right there a little bad. Honestly, I could have had placed it at the bridge, so all four barbarians could have had it like came together and whatnot. So now at this point, I know he's already back to his um royal giant, so I do not want to be aggressive with my mortar. Because he would use his Royal Giant. But eventually I will have to be aggressive as you guys can see in a little bit. So now right there I just have to defend that. And now I'm just waiting. I'm sitting on Antenna Elixir just because I don't have anything else to do. So right there I do get aggressive. And he happened to place those Barbarians at the same time. So now at this point I have to defend the Barbarians. And I have to defend the... Royal Giant up there, and luckily it was double elixir at this time. So I use my knight, I cycle back to my mortar. He uses his ice wizard, and he has a Tesla, which really didn't help him out at all. Now that ice wizard is dead, my mortar locked onto the tower because the Tesla went back down. Right here, I give him a thumbs up because I, I, I knew that he didn't have anything else to do, and right there, I lied a little bit, and it did not show those Z barbarians, no, those barbarians came down. So now again right there I place my mortar really aggressive and my knight and my mortar locks onto the tower because it just will. The mortar has a circle, it has like a safe circle around it where it just, it'll automatically lock on. And now at this point all I, I know that all I gotta do is rocket and an arrow. So I play my mortar defensively, rocket. I do decide to VM a little bit right here just because he... I hate going up against Royal Giant players, and I've been really stressed by trying to do the 2v2 Mega Knight challenge. So right there, I do that. Let this Royal Giant get some hits off. Then I just log it away, and, and it's a good game. So yeah, that's the first replay. I'll get back into the second one real quick. All right, so right here, uh, this guy had a Hog Rider deck that was pretty odd at first. So he used those Fire Spirits. To in the beginning, got a little aggressive. Just used my arches for them. Worked out good. And I don't know why my eyes, are, my eyes are getting like super watery and they're burning at the moment. So bear with me if I can. Uh, I sound a little like weird. So now I just lock that away to cycle. Use my skeletons to pull to the middle. My knight as well. My fire spear again to cycle to my archers. Now right here, I get aggressive. With my mortar, expecting him to like have something for it, and he has a, a cannon, so now he has to defend both lanes. And he decided to defend uh, the mortar, and I just arrowed his minions away. So now he's got to use his hog rider, and I use my knight and my hog rider. No, my knight, my knight and my ice spirit, I mean. I don't know why I said hog rider. So now I have waiting on him to defend that. Still not sure what he has for it. So there he has those barbarians. 
Now I cycle back to my archers with my as well with my skeletons to pull them up to the bridge so my archers can probably so that they won't get hit and they don't get hit. So now um I I wanted to put my mortar down right here actually but I didn't need to wait for him to cycle to see what he had. So now I defended this with my with my knight and I got aggressive again with my mortar, I think, right here. Yep, there you go. Expecting him to place his cannon. I was expecting that to bridge, but he placed it over there in the middle, so that didn't really help out him. And he uses his barbarians for my mortar, and at this point, I said, well, I played because I didn't have anything for it, so now I have to use my my spear and my skeletons to cycle to my knight. He used his, his hog, and I placed my mortar at the center of the bridge that's the best placement you can you can have so my mortar manages to lock onto the tower still and right there he placed his cannon super late i do not know why he would place it like that so now he's back to his to valkyrie and now i right here i pulled everything and i rocketed it very valuable valuable rocket right there and those 30 seconds really blocked it but as you can see right there my mortar i don't know why my mortar wasn't shooting it shot like really late. I felt like that was a, like a really weird delay. So as you can see, he still hasn't touched my towers at all. I think at this point, he might have had quit. Oh no. He was sitting at 10 licks. So I don't know what he was doing. He cycled that. Yeah, right now he did. Now after this, he quit. So once, so at this point, he knew that he couldn't, he couldn't, he was not going to win. So now I just rocketed it. And he quits, the mortar kills a cannon. I say good luck, because he quit. My, I, my mortar shoots out, I rock it. No, I just log it, actually, what am I saying? There you go, my mortar, and I shoot my arrows. Just for fun. So that's the second battle. Let's get into a live, let's get into a couple live battles. And then I'll see where I take it from there. All right, so let's get into a battle. Hopefully, I do not lag. I'll keep my volume a little low. Hopefully it doesn't bother. At the end, I'm going to probably regret it keeping my volume up. Just because you probably can't hear my voice. So right here, I'm going to cycle my archers. Split them in the back. Just so I can, like, see what he has. And he logged that. So at this point, I'm not exactly sure what to do. So I'm just going to cycle my log. And I am lagging a little bit. Great. Cycle my eye spirit. Gonna cycle my skeletons over here. Oh man. So I'm expecting a bait deck, so I'm gonna be aggressive right here. So in this end, gonna hover. No, not hover. Oh my gosh. Alright, so that should be fine. My mortar should. I think my mortar should get a hit off. Oh, okay, nope, never. Oh yeah, I did actually. So I was not expecting to roll a giant. But it's fine. Now I know what he has. And I know that I need to play a little a little conservative. And know his cycle so I can out-cycle him. See, like right now I'm already back to my mortar. And I know he does not have his road giant yet. And right there he used that. I'm going to cycle my log just for it. Alright, good. That's what I wanted right there. Right now when that... When that princess, I'll just lock this away. Great. It's a value right there. We'll cycle my ice spirit again. Apply pressure on this lane. Get some chip damage. So now again, I'm gonna... No, I know he's back to his... Oh, big mistake by him right there. Gonna hover my arrows just in case he uses minions. Alright, there we go. He did not... And I know he does not have his zap in hand. So now I am going to get ready for this. And he does have a fireball, which I do not know. So as you can see, I'm already back to my to my mortar. Sorry, I was going to interrupt it. But as you can see, my mortar was at the bridge and it got locked on. And now I did do a lot of damage over there. going to arrow this out over here. Now my mortar should lock on. Should, should lock on right now and this is, should be a good game good game against this cave 
Yeah. See, we're all giants. I'm just laughing, though. Good for him. Alright, I gotta give him a thumbs up. Make sure he knows. Place my my mortar over there just to be him a little bit. So that was a good game. I just got interrupted at the end. I might. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it out because I don't. You guys don't. Yeah, I'm, I'll just cut it out. So it's actually going to another like battle and see what I do from there. So now against a level 11. Hopefully this gets me up to 4,300. I don't think so. I did not check my trophy count at the moment. Uh oh wow I'm freaking oh my gosh I just lagged really bad right there. I'm gonna use my What's up with this lag? Oh my gosh, I really can't do this. This is not gonna work out good for me. Let me use and see if my skeletons distract that. Okay good. Oh my gosh, I really can't with this lag. There we go, it's fine. Expecting, um, I'm actually expecting the goblin gang around here. I don't have enough for it, but, oh, he didn't place it. All right, that's fine. Actually, that's fine with me. There it is, actually, now it's all late. I'm gonna log that away. Mortar should get two hits off, or three. No, I should get one more hit off. And yep, there it is. My my archers are gonna take the tower there. So now it's all good. I know he's back to his to his um knight and his executioner and his bandit. So I'm not gonna play my mortar at the moment. I'm gonna wait for him. Oh, uh, actually. Oh, he's got a, he's even got lead barbarians. And as you can see right there, I almost, la I was lagging actually. And those freaking fire spirits are doing work on my tower. Oh, yes, there we go. <laughs> Alright, that's good with me. Let me use this. My mortar's gonna lock on. My mortar should still stay locked on. There it is. And I'm just going to cycle my ice spirit. That should die. Oh no, that was a bad. Oh. Thank God that thing. I was not expecting my knight to go over there. Alright, so now I'm just being aggressive with my mortar. Because I know he can't defend it. He doesn't have anything to defend it. So, I might as well be aggressive. The game's about to end either way. It's going to send out this rocket. That's not going to do anything. Actually, I don't think so. He's got, getting really aggressive. That tower is getting taken down. It's a good game. Against this kid. He has a really bad deck. A lead by bearing control deck with a bandit. I don't see how that works for you. But if it does, I guess you can run it. He's up and he's up with those trophies, so I guess it does work for him. Good luck. Alright, so I'm three trophies. I'm really three trophies off from 4300. Okay, whatever. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's been David. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'm out.